The 12th annual CBS Caremark Charity Classic Golf Tournament is officially underway. WPRI 12 is proud to be a media sponsor once again. Some great golfers are here in Rhode Island and it's all for a good cause. The first day of the tournament has wrapped up. Eyewitness News anchors Karen Adams and Patrick Little have been braving the heat and the humidity all day. They join us now with more from the Rhode Island Country Club in Barrington. First day of the big tournament is over, and the one word we can use all day long is it's hot. I don't know for how's the hair doing today. <laughs> a little sticky today, clammy, but I'll tell you what, speaking of hot, red hot, the golfers' putters were red hot today. So many birdies in round one of the CVS Caremark Charity Classic as we take a look at some of the highlights. I mean, it was really it was hot for the fans and for the golfers like Brad Fax and Billy Andre, but perfect scoring conditions today. Hall of Famer Julie Inkster, her partner, Boo Weekly, shot a 10 under par, 61. Yeah, 61. Here's Boo with a birdie putt on number 13, and he reads this one perfectly right in the cup. Angela Stanford pair with Barrington's Brett Quigley this year. Angela and Brett teamed up for an 8 under par 63. Dana Quigley now playing this year. He had shoulder surgery a couple of months ago. Hunter Mahan, Suzanne Pedersen, the other team tied for the lead at 10 under par. There's Hunter and the uh, the colorful one, Ricky Fowler, the young kid, 23 years old. He's playing with Faxon, Fowler and Fax, also at 8 under par for round one. The 10 teams were a combined 72 under par to Today in round one. So right now, legitimately, there's seven teams, seven out of the ten, that have a shot at winning this tournament, the final round here tomorrow at Rhode Island Country Club. It's really terrific seeing these great players come here, and the crowd certainly appreciate it. So I wanted to talk to the tournament chair. I said, how's it going? Is it all <laughs> systems go? And so she uh, talked to me for a minute about how this event is going. The activity is nearly frantic behind the scenes with volunteers. Tournament chair Eileen Howard Don says every year they learn something new, what they can do to improve. And how did they do this year? Oh, it's been a great year. The tournament has been wonderful so far. We're keeping our fingers crossed that the weather stays with us for the next day and a half. It seems to me the crowd seem big this year. They have a lot of people. The crowds are big, a lot of excitement, and people are just thrilled to be here, and it's wonderful weather, and it's just been a great event so far. Now tell me about heat and humidity dominated this day. All right, I'm here with Tippy at the water truck, which I have a feeling you're going to go through a lot of it today. Yes, we already have. Hydration is the key, so we have a lot of water trucks going back and forth. We have people from the hospitality and guest services taking water around the course. We have first aid on hand at any point in time, so that's really, we're focused on that. It's hot, and it's really hot sometimes. Very hot, but uh, the good thing is the rain, the bad weather held off. Now, some people did go home a little earlier. Yep. I talked to a couple of fans and said, this is great. But I'm really warm. I'm just going to get in the air-conditioned car on the way home. Sarah, will have much more coming with sports. And then join us for our wrap-up show, a round one wrap-up show at 7 o'clock right here on WPRI 12. Back to you.